We're going to do a quick video demonstration of the face functionality built into the QuickFix application. We've got my daughter's eye pulled up. We're going to click on face. And we're going to go ahead and give her a little bit of a tan. So all we do is click in the area of her skin that we want to tan. We have pre-configured ball sizes, so you can certainly change that with the little ball icon down at the bottom of the screen. As you can see here, we've trying to be careful not to get into the eye. If you do, it's not a problem because you can go back and erase it. But as you can see here, we've, we've effectively given her a pretty good tan. We're going to darken it up a little bit, and you can see the areas that you missed. And you can go right back and be really careful right up to the edge of the eye. And we've given her a tan. Now we're going to go ahead and pull up that same face icon and we're going to change the eye color. Now what I'm going to have to do here is pull the eyes back in a little bit because it's our application automatically enlarges the eye. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, as you'll see, it's going to change it just a little bit right now because she already started out with green eyes and our, our system actually sets the default to green. Now, that can certainly change. As you see, we've already changed it. Now we're going to scroll across. When you get to the darker colors, you can kind of see where we went out a little bit above the eye here. So we just hit the eraser and go back and remove that. And we can do the same at the bottom. That was already probably a little bit colored at the bottom where it was outside when we started this image. So there you go with the color change. And you can rotate back and forth with the color change. There's a lot more functionality built into the application. You can actually use a color picker to change any color you really want to for the eye. And then you can start with that color scheme to begin with. Really neat. And when this is backed out all the way, it can give you some just phenomenal looking eyes. I'm going to go back into the, the face section. We're going to pull up a blemish remover. Let's just let's, let's quickly do the same thing where we actually shrink it back down again. We're going to go ahead and there's a little red icon. If you see the little red circle here, that's the area that you're going to actually copy. You're going to copy the flesh tone and see if I start moving that right above it, just like in Photoshop and some of the more powerful options out there today, you can just remove that wrinkle instantly in any area around it that you want to remove as well and it color matches it flawlessly. Now that's a, another function that we have is the wrinkle remover, which is basically the same exact function. So as you can see, you can pretty much remove any of the blemishes. If you see, I'm not even trying to remove a blemish. I'm actually removing the quick picks label down at the bottom. But you can just about remove any, any imperfections at all just by moving it around and the color match stays the same. So it keeps the skin tone the same and doesn't mess up the looks. So that's kind of a great demonstration of our face capabilities. The one thing that we did not uh, have a chance to show you here is the tooth whitening, and it works basically identi identical. It's exceptionally well versed. It works exceptionally well regardless of the teeth coloring, and you can hone it all the way down to a very fine. If you want to just color uh, whiten one tooth, you can do that or the entire group of teeth. Hopefully you've enjoyed this demo, and thank you for viewing our video.